Hey parents, I'm Dr. Nicole from Sprout Family Chiropractic in San Diego and one of the hardest things to talk about or conditions to talk about as a parent is nighttime bedwetting or enuresis. And it's so hard for you parents because you feel totally out of control. You've tried changing everything. You've tried using the timers and the alarms, waking your kid up in the middle of the night to eliminating food dyes, to changing your diet, to watching how much fluid your child's taking in and you're thinking, is it really a small bladder or is it something else? It's so difficult to get to the bottom of it, but it can be even tougher for your kid because it can affect their self-esteem, their self-confidence. They don't feel like they're in control of their body and it gets worse with bedwetting as they get older into six, seven, eight, nine years old. So today I wanna to talk to you about kind of a hidden side to bedwetting that as a parent you may not have explored and I'm gonna to talk to you about how the brain talks to the body and how the body talks back to the brain to really get to one, the root cause of nighttime enuresis or nighttime bedwetting and also what you as a parent can do about it. Here's what happens. At night when we fall asleep, key parts of our brain shut off or turn down. Now these parts like the prefrontal cortex which uh, control thinking and communication, they turn off or turn down to rest and refuel. Now, if the brain is shutting off too much or it's not getting the right signals, then the signals can get stressed. They can almost be compromised. That causes the brain not to know or understand or to recognize that, hey, I need to go to the bathroom or it doesn't recognize that, hey, I need to hold it in. So the number one thing that we see in our office that continues or perpetuates nighttime bedwetting is that crucial critical signal from the brain to the body and back from the body to the brain. Now, what so often causes this is something very simple yet complex at the same time, and it's stress. It's stress to the nervous system. The nervous system gets anxious or overwhelmed. And you know, when we get stressed and when our nervous system gets stressed, it goes into what's called the fight or flight or sympathetic mode. Now, what that does to us when we're sleeping, it really causes the brain to do some really wonky things to the body and especially when we're in that REM sleep or that circadian rhythm. It either turns too much off or too much on. Sleep studies in kids that have a lot of daily stress find irregularities in that brain-body connection. And what that does is it causes other regularities when too much of that is happening. It causes night terrors, bad dreams, sleepwalking, bedwetting, all because our body goes into that fight or flight, stressed out, sympathetic state while we're sleeping. And it can cause a lot of things like inappropriate signals to go from the brain to the body and back from the body to the brain. So as a pediatric chiropractor, what we look at, what we measure is that signaling, how the brain is talking to the body and vice versa. We look at those areas of stress and we ask ourselves, okay, how can we get the body and the brain to talk better to each other? How can we get those signals to not be as staticky or as inappropriate so that one, we get to hold it in or we can hold it in at night, or two, we're still getting the signals but our body knows that we have to go to the bathroom, but I'm gonna hold it until I wake up. We know this is a complex issue, and as a parent, you've probably tried everything. And that's why pediatric chiropractic could be the missing link for your little one. What you can do is reach out to a pediatric chiropractor and see if they do what's called insight scans. These scans do exactly what I was talking about. They measure how well the brain and the body are communicating and how well those signals from the brain to the bladder and the rest of the body are doing. These scans look at the nervous system and see are there areas of stress stuck in the nervous system, stuck creating improper signal from the brain and the body, and is it what's causing the bedwetting? And the majority of the time, it is. And we saw exactly this for a little girl, Reagan, that's under care now. Mom brought her in for bedwetting, and it was really hard because her parents started to lose hope because they tried everything and it's really hard as a parent to continue to use alarms, use timers to wake your kid up, carry them to the bathroom. But after just a few weeks of getting adjusted, the scans showed that the signaling was working so much better and guess what? The bedwetting drastically decreased for Reagan. If you have any questions, if you know a kiddo, if you have a kiddo with this unique struggle, please reach out. We would love to talk to you more about pediatric chiropractic and how that can be the missing link to getting your child out of that struggle. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.